Feisty match. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, always is. And plenty of points, of course, and a couple of tries for yourself. I think there were seven or eight for Melrose, so uh, a really good workout. Yeah, definitely. No, it was good. It was a good little hit out. Uh, good to see the boys getting over the line as well. Really good. And of course, we said that's two trophies. You're going for a third one next week yeah, uh, against right. Stirling County. That's the Charity Shield. Of course, you're on uh, home territory as well at the Green Yards. Yeah, now it'll be good to get back home and have a run about in the Green Yards. It's looking good, so we'll be. Uh, Kind of raring to go for that. I thought we uh, we stuck in well the second half, uh, especially. Um, we uh, we thought we'd come out a bit hard in the first half, first ten minutes, and just a lot of th some stuff didn't go our way. Little knock-ons and just uh, maybe silly penalties. Um, so we knew at half time we had to come out and, and fight, and that's what we did. And, and we came back into the game. It was really close at one point. 
and again we started some silly errors and, and kind of let the game get away from us. But. Great second half though and uh, your two tries came in in the second half and I bet you're quite surprised how uh, the gaps opened up there. Ah, that's the thing, It's we just the forwards created the, the space for us out wide and uh, it was just a case of when I seen a gap I just had to go for it so I was kind of lucky I, was, I didn't get touched until I was out of the try line so it was quite good. And not far away from a hat-trick. Yeah, I know, I was disappointed not to finish that there. Um, I, I backed myself on the outside and uh, I think it was... Um, the scrum half came in and just caught me at the last minute, so I was kind of gutted, but it'll be good to watch that on the video again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it shows how far Jed have come in the last couple of years that you're actually disappointed to uh, lose to the Scottish champions and Scottish cup holders. Uh, we knew it was going to be tough, but they're the games we want to play and we want to test ourselves. You know, we were unlucky not, not to go into the Premiership this year. Uh, we finished on similar points as Aki's and we just thought, Let, let's try and prove a point prove that we can compete and it shows we can we can score some good tries even against the, the Scottish champions like and I think we, we just need to we're training hard and, and we know we know our job for this season and we just have to continue and, and, and keep performing and training well. The boys have been working hard throughout the pre-season it's been really tough we've got uh, Rich Taylor leading that so he's been doing a really good job throughout uh, but uh, just hard graft but it seems to be paying off here. And great to see the youngsters as well. I mean, coming through, there's yourself, of course, Struan Hutchison and, uh, you know, many other of the, of the new boys replacing the guys who have moved on to professional rugby. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, young Ben McLean there on debut, getting us a try. Absolutely unbelievable. So, same again, like young boys, Patrick Anderson again, outstanding. It was good to see then DC coming back in as well. Very exciting times, obviously, for the club with the Super Six in, in a year's time. But, of course, right now you're concentrating on the Tenants Premiership, obviously, this year. You're the current champions. You're the Scottish Cup champions as well. Yeah. Um, hard to better that season, but you'll give it a damn good try. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, If we can do the double again this year, that'd be absolutely outstanding. I don't think anyone's ever done the double-double, so we get to get that done. Always plenty to aim for at Melrose. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely.